Thank you very much, Kostas. And uh, let me once again thank all the uh, speakers in this closing session. It's now up to me to say a few words in conclusion of this uh, conference. And uh, don't be afraid, uh, I will be extremely short because it was a rich debate and it will just be impossible for me in a couple of minutes to recall everything. But I think today's conference confirmed very much the importance and uh, necessity to complete ERA as soon as possible. There was a sense of urgency. We have been talking about completing ERA for a number of years. We have made progress, but there is still a lot of things which we need to do. And this is very much also in line with the statement of our heads of state when they met in February of this year and said it very clearly, ERA needs to be completed by 2014. But what is it that we want to complete by 2014? What are the big tickets on which we should focus? What are the big stumbling blocks and bottleneck which hamper a functioning of ERA? Well, for me, the stakeholder consultation gives the answer. If you look at what the stakeholders identified as regards the not functioning of ERA, it is very clear. It's about researchers' careers. It's about the non-open recruitment. It's about the non-portability of grants. It's about open access, where no clear rules exist across the member states. It's about research infrastructures, which we need to get off the ground jointly, commonly, but where we have a lot of difficulties as regards their creation. And it's about joint programming, where we need to move forward as regards the grant societal challenges, addressing those in partnerships, but we have an enormous amount of stumbling blocks. So we need to focus on these big tickets, which are preventing a proper functioning of ERA. Now how? Who should do the job? Well, let me be clear, it's not the Commission who can do that all by itself. There needs to be a partnership approach. We will come in June, before the summer, with a policy paper in which we are proposing a very clear way forward, an action plan to deliver ERA in 2014. And we would like to do this in full partnership with a number of European organizations. And as a matter of fact, we would like to sign a pact for delivery of ERA with these organizations. Because when we talk about portability of grants, it is the national research councils who can deliver that. So Science Europe, Paul Boyle, we call upon you to sign this pact for delivery in completing ERA 2014. When we talk about open recruitment, it's the League of the European Universities Association. It's the European universities who can indeed there make the difference. And we will call upon them, each one of them, to sign up to this Pact on Delivery for ERA in 2014. We have done a lot of talking over the last couple of years, so we have made progress. But now, dear colleagues, the time has come to bite the bullets and to really make sure that all the bottlenecks are addressed that all the barriers are removed, which have been prevented for so many years, a good functioning of ERA. We are very grateful to the Cypriot Presidency, incoming Presidency, that they are organizing a dedicated event in fall of this year where we can take stock and hopefully see time indeed to further make progress on this important pact for delivery, of which we need all of your help. Again, we just cannot do it by ourselves. This needs to be done in a partnership approach. I would like to thank all of you for your active participation in this conference. I would like to invite you to a cocktail, an ERA cocktail, which will be completed by 7 o'clock this evening, that I can guarantee you. And I wish you all a safe journey home and hope that we can count on you in delivering ERA by 2014. Thank you very much.